Hi, Mum. How are you doing? These are uncertain times for Rebecca Stredwick from Oxford and her mother, Ursula. Ursula left Germany in the 1960s to live and work in the UK with her British husband. Having lived half her life in this country, she thought she had the right to remain. But she moved back to Germany several years ago and isn't clear whether she'll be allowed to return. She sees herself as English and German, but she loves being British. She's paid her taxes. She was there for you know, over 40 years. She only went back to Germany to go and look after her mum because we made a commitment promise in our family to always look after our parents as, as, as far as we could. And, and then she herself got sick when she was over there and has had to stay on. I feel cheated. I feel betrayed that what I thought was a good situation has been taken away from me now. Well, I think a lot of anxiety. Rebecca's been splitting her time between the UK and Germany, caring for her mother while she recovers from major spinal surgery. But she's worried who'll pay for her care after Brexit and says the process of applying for EU settled status is confusing and ambiguous. Even her local MPs struggled to find the answers. For many months I've been pushing the Conservative government saying to them what will the exact details of the settlement st uh, scheme be? How will it work? How will you make sure that everyone who has the right to stay here is able to stay here? Well what is coming out is I think in some respects similar um, to what happened with the Windrush situation so I'm not surprised some of my constituents are drawing parallels because what's coming out is a situation where actually the rules don't necessarily match up to that reality, where there could be loopholes, there could be gaps that people could fall through, where people who the vast majority of the population would think have got a right to stay here could be denied it. The Home Officers told us applicants can find information about how to apply for settled status on its website and have until June 2021. But if we leave the EU without a deal, freedom of movement will come to an end on the 29th of March this year and applicants will already need to be living in the UK to apply. That's bad news for Ursula, who's still receiving treatment in Germany. I'm tired and I'm stressed about it. And really, the thing that's carrying me through at the moment, and many others, I know people who are feeling depressed, they're going to see, you know, people, you know, mental health therapists and so on. Um, I have a strong faith in God, and that is what is carrying me through at the moment. But otherwise, I'm really, really tired of it.